What if I told you that not too long ago, a plan was devised to fill the Sahara Desert with solar panels? This was Desert X's plan to electrify continental Europe with renewable energy, powered from the scorching heat of the deserts in North Africa and the Middle East. Stay tuned as we take a deep dive into the solar energy of the Sahara Desert. Let's start with the basics. The idea to utilize the immense heat of the Sahara has eluded scientists and investors for decades. The Sahara Desert is one of the best locations in the world for solar energy, theoretically. If we take a hypothetical area of 10,000 km squared in the middle of the desert, we could generate enough power to satisfy the world's current electricity demands. This is where Desertec comes into today's story. Desertec was an ambitious project to generate solar energy in the deserts of North Africa and the Middle East. It aimed to provide 15% of Europe's electricity needs by 2050 from solar and wind power plants situated in Africa and the Middle East. There are several engineering challenges it would face. You see, the technology of this project is unlike conventional photovoltaics we're accustomed to seeing. Desertec planned to use concentrated solar power. Unlike PV, which depends on the sun's light intensity, CSP operates by the sun's heat. Desertec were looking into two variations of concentrated solar power plants, which we'll be discussing today. However, I'm planning to do an in-depth video of the four types of CSP very soon. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So a parabolic trough plant, which is the most developed method of CSP, consists of a parabolic mirror and a tube at the focal length of the mirror. A series of piping circulates a heat transfer fluid, being either a molten salt or synthetic oil. The fluid is transferred to a heat exchanger, where the heat is transferred to another fluid, which operates a steam turbine, generating power. The other plant considered was this, the concentrated solar tower. These plants are massive. They consist of a large solar collector mounted on a solar tower. The central tower is surrounded by mirrors, referred to as heliostats, positioned to reflect the sun's heat to the collector. A heat transfer fluid is circulated through the tower, most commonly water, air or molten salts, which again are used to power turbines for power generation. There is already an existing plant in Morocco using these two CSP methods. In fact, it is the largest CSP power plant in the world. You see, Morocco is heavily dependent on energy imports, mostly coal and oil. To reduce the dependency on foreign suppliers and rising environmental concerns, Morocco has invested heavily in solar energy targeting 42% of its electricity needs to be met by renewable sources. With an investment of 9 billion US dollars, Morocco has reached 550 megawatts of clean energy from the Orzuzate complex, consisting of two parabolic trough plants, NUR1 and NUR2, and one massive solar tower plant, NUR3. Thanks to this project, Morocco has reduced its dependency on foreign suppliers and fossil fuels altogether. Not only that, but it's also exporting 600 megawatts of electricity to Spain. During the recent blackout in Spain, Morocco supplied 900 megawatts of electricity. The transfer of electricity between the two countries is done by two high voltage underwater cables through the Strait of Gibraltar with the third one being constructed. However, there is a slight problem in scaling the number of plants along the desert, if we were to go back to Desertec's original plan. 
You see, for the Orzuzate complex alone, 3 million cubic meters of water are used each year for the cooling systems of the three plants and also regular cleaning of the mirrors. Water is sourced from a dam located approximately 12 kilometers away from the plant. This has led Morocco to, instead of continuing to invest in CSP, it has now invested in photovoltaics for its fourth plant, which was completed in 2018. Another issue with CSP is the cost of construction. A recent study has shown that CSP plants cost approximately double when compared to PV. The main causes highlighted being that PV has become a well-established technology and is basically mass-produced. Spain and Morocco are relatively close, meaning that the cables are only 59 kilometers in length. Although going back to DesertX project, the length of cables needed is astronomically larger. More transmission lines would be needed to expand into Northern Europe. And with longer cables come higher costs and bigger infrastructure. The factors that we have mentioned led to 16 out of DesertX 19 shareholders pulling out of the project. Other factors were also to blame namely the political turmoil of North African and Middle Eastern countries, which I am not a specialist in, so I won't be going into. Another major factor was Europe's own solar power boom, which raised questions about the need of the project entirely. As I've said earlier, photovoltaics have several benefits as compared to concentrated solar power. For one, they are modular, so they can be installed virtually anywhere, eliminating the need for hectares of land to erect a single power plant. It is far cheaper, and their efficiency basically comes down to what type of panel is installed. I would much rather see the development of these countries, and going back to what Morocco is doing, the abundance of sunlight in North Africa and the Middle East is essential for their and the global transition away from fossil fuels. Renewable energy also contributes to the economic and social development, creating jobs and opportunities for the local population, especially in countries with limited opportunities altogether. I truly believe that North African countries could definitely learn from the development and shift to sustainability that is underway in Morocco. Guys, if you want to learn more about what other countries are doing to fight climate change, watch these two videos next. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to never have to miss any of our videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.